So hello and welcome. Today we analyze the back squat of Juan. Juan is a track cyclist from Argentina who has reached out to me asking me if I would be able to analyze his back squat and here we go. So let's have a look at the back squat first. Uh, Juan does two repetitions with 140 kilos, 145 kilos. So let's have a look. Okay, good. Okay, so if we do a back squat, we want to imagine that there's an Im imaginary line that goes right from the middle of the bar through the middle of the foot. So now ideally you want to have the weight staying on that line. And what you can see here is that there is a bit of a displacement forward. So he leans a bit, uh, so you see it even more here. No, yeah, so we can see it here. So there's a deviation from the midline. Okay, one more. Yeah, so same thing. Yeah, so the first thing we see here is that he leans forward. So let's go in the bottom position. So the bottom position looks really good. It's a really nice and deep squat. So now if we draw a line on the back, yeah, so that looks really good. Again, remember. Basically, you want to have the chin angle and the angle of the back being parallel. So that's what we can see here. But now, you see when he comes up, so that's the bottom position. So you can see that line doesn't remain parallel. So, which means he lifts his hip first. And we can see the same thing in the second repetition. So let's have a look again. Yeah, so the bottom position looks really good. I like that position. But then again, if you focus on the hip, you can see the hip is shooting. As we call it, the hip shoots up. Yeah. So this is basically the main point here. Really good bottom position. And then once he comes up, he's starting to come up with the hip first. And then the rest of the body follows, or the weight follows. And as I showed in the first picture, oops, as I showed in the first, in the beginning, you really want to have the weight staying on that vertical line. And if we do it now in half speed, you can see it a bit more clearly. See, there the weight goes forward, comes up with the hip first, so that was repetition number one, and we can see the same for repetition number two. So descending looks fine, bottom position is fine, but then ascending, So there could be various options. One option is it's just a technical flaw, so he's so used to squat like this. So then I would propose working more with overhead squats and hands-free front squats.
So if we are figuring, for example, in this position, so imagine this position and you have the bar overhead or you have the bar on your shoulders and the arms extended. Once this movement of the hip happens, see here, so the mo this movement of the hip happens, the bar will fall. So whether it's a overhead squat, it will fall forward. Whether it's a hand free front squat, it will roll down the shoulders. So these two exercises will automatically teach the right squatting mechanics. If it's a strength issue, which can also be so that the posterior chain, so the backside, is a bit stronger than the anterior side, the front side, then I would focus on single leg exercises, Bulgarian split squats, and also maybe the front squat to target more the anterior chain. One more thing which is not really related to the training, but to the spotter. So in this position, the spotter is a little bit too far away, and I mean, the only if one is now not able to come up, the only thing he can do is help a little bit with his arms. So, and 140 kilos with the arms is probably a little bit too heavy. So, as a spotter, you need to stand a bit closer and then also squat down so you can support and have the arms more around the chest, let's say, or under the, under, <coughs> below the weight, not, not grabbing the bar from the top. But anyway, that's just a small side note. Yeah, so back to the topic. Work on squatting mechanics with overhead squats and hamstring front squats. Work on strength of the anterior side with Bulgarian split squats, front foot elevated split squats, or also front squats. Okay, hope it helps. And...